sort of the area of work that I work in, which is managing the National Nature Reserves in Wales. We have a significant number of landholds in Wales, some very large, some very small, uh, and on those we are subject to quite a lot of uh, fly tipping and uh, Anti-social behaviour. We find there are a wide variety of goods that are dumped in the countryside. Um, as I say, it varies from things as extreme as you know, burnt out cars to uh, the flight tip garden waste. Um, you get uh, tyres are a big problem at the moment. Um, things like cars, fridges, they all contain liquids. Um, what happens to those when it gets into the environment? Uh, you don't know what the long-term effects are going to be, uh, but they certainly can't be good. Um, and I say particularly with species that get into the environment, we're often years afterwards trying to control them. And you know, to give you an example of where Japanese knotweed was introduced in the 1970s, 80s, we're still after 20 years trying to control that. It still comes back each year. In relation to flight tipping, the Environmental Crime Team um, are an investigative tool um, in trying to understand part of the problem and that's got two folds really. It's all about building intelligence so we've got a bigger picture as to the, the waste industry uh, throughout Wales and therefore part of that is the illegal waste activity that, that um, arises from it and that can be anything from you know, large scale illegal waste activity to a smaller scale fly tipping um, which we take an investigative role of to hopefully bring the perpetrators to justice and then take them to court. If individuals are found and prosecuted successfully by the agency, um, they can expect a, certainly a hefty fine, uh, upwards of uh, the maximum of £50,000. Uh, for more severe offences, also custodial sentences available. If someone was to see some flight tipping or any suspicious activity they wish to report, they could contact the Environment Agency direct on our free phone 24 hour number 0800 8060, or they could go on the Flight Tip Action Wales website. From the EA perspective, the key to tackling this problem of flight tipping is certainly working with um, all um, our partners. Uh, flight Tip National Wales has proven valuable in that, in providing the contacts to enable us to work closer together as a team. And that involves the environment agencies themselves, uh, local authorities, the police, um, and any other organisation that's got a vested interest, including members of the public. I'm Gary Evans, I'm Project Manager for Valleys Regional Park and Flight of National Wales and we are Merthyr today to, to launch our Global Positioning System Unit. Flight of National Wales with support from the Welsh Government have purchased 50 GPS units. A GPS stands for Global Positioning Systems and while it sounds a bit grand, uh, essentially it utilises the same kind of technology that we have now, sat navs and our tom toms in the car. But what's crucial about these units is that uh, they have a photographic capability and we'll be handing them out to the nine local authorities within the Valleys Regional Park for them to track their flight tipping like you see behind you here. Um, they'll go on and take, the, take a photograph of the flight tipping, it'll give a grid reference, and give a date and a time and it'll allow us then to target our resources more effectively. Uh, if you can imagine, if you see, there's a lot of construction and demolition waste around the site here and if we find that there's an opportunity for construction and demolition waste around the Valley Street Channel Park area. Neighbouring authorities can work together and then focus their, their enforcement activities at sites where we believe that the, the waste is originated from.